Right, hey, what's up everyone? It's Weston here. So today we've got the review for you of the Acorn Audio E1. Right guys, just before I kick off the review, I'd just like to say that these earphones have been supplied to me by the manufacturer. Now, no money has exchanged hands for this review and I can remain completely unbiased and give you my full honest opinion of these earphones. So now let's get on uh, with the video. Now, before we kick off the review, I'm just gonna show you what's in the box. Right, so here is the packaging of the Acorn E1. Now, they are very nicely packaged, and you can see the design of the package is really nice, really simple, really clean. So up front, you've got the earphones, the picture of them. Uh, you've got the Acorn branding and the E1 model number as well. Turning around to the side, you've just got another picture of the earphone. And then around the back, you've just got some information about the earphones themselves. Right, so open the, in the sleeve, you get another internal box again with the branding on the front with their website on the back. So you open that up and then you're presented with the earphones and a selection of ear tips. So you can see it's all very nicely presented, very well packaged. So then also in the box you get a little bit of information again about how you can contact Acorn Audio and what else is in the box. So in the box you get three tips, you get large, medium and small ear tips provided. They are silicone tips, just your regular kind, but they're very decent quality. Right, so now we've got the uh, little miniature unboxing out of the way. I'm going to kick this review off by talking about these earphones design. Now the earphones are very simply designed, very elegant and um, they're really uh, sort of rustic as well, which I quite like. They use a combination of real wood and metal to create that effect. The uh, earbuds feature a Acorn Audio logo imprinted on the back of each board. The only other noticeable design feature is the left and right indicator on the underside of each board. This means that the design are for people more liking their simple, clean looking earphones rather than the uh, bright, shouty in your face ones. The cable is very nice. It's finished off in plastic rather than a fabric. I would have preferred to see a fabric or braided cable because it would have added to the more rustic feel of the earphones and just really tied in with the whole theme better. Then we go down to the 3.5mm uh, jack. Now this is a quite an odd design, it's not quite 90 degrees and it's sort of got an unusual shape curvature to it. It's really nice but just a little bit unusual. Right so now let's talk about these earphones build quality. So the earphones, like I mentioned, are made from real wood and real metal. So the build quality is very, very impressive. The metal is integrated into the wood really nice. Uh, there's no rough edges around the joints. The earbuds feel solid, but they're not heavy. They're really lightweight, weighing in at only 80 grams. Somehow, Acorn Audio have managed to smooth the overall feel of the earbud whilst maintaining the feel of the grain in the wood. This just adds a sort of premium feel to the headphones quality. The cable quality, like I mentioned, is plastic finish. It's not poor quality, but again, it's not the best I've ever experienced on a pair of earphones. Now the cable is robust enough to last everyday use, but I would have preferred to see fabric or braiding on the cable, just to give it a little bit more of a robust feel. Then we go down to the 3.5mm jack again, and it's very well built, very robust, and it will last the life of the earphones. Overall, they're very, very well built for the price. Speaking of price, how would you guys like £5 off any order of E1? earphones sounds good well check out this promo code what acorn audio have provided me and then it gives you five pound off any order of e1 earphones from their website now unfortunately the e1 are out of stock at the minute until the 7th of january 2015 but you can still get hold of them by their amazon and ebay stores so the links for those will be down in the description now we move on to comfort now usually I'm not a big fan of in-ears and you all know that I'm not usually a fan of in-ears but I'm actually surprised at how comfortable these are. The supplied silicone tips are really soft, really really squidgy as well which is good and they're really flexible so they're not uh, rigid like you get on uh, some other earphones. They fit really nice in your ear and they're really lightweight as well so you don't get none of that horrible ear tug you get from heavier earbuds. Now we uh, move on to the features. Now these aren't the most feature packed of earphones and they are actually missing a couple of uh, features that you can find on cheaper earphones and on other rival earphones as well. 
Now the features that are missing are the iOS remote on the cable. Now I'm not an iOS user so to me it's not really an issue but for people using iOS then it is a bit of an issue not having the dedicated remote. The other thing that they're missing is the cable management. Now you might think cable management on earphones, uh, well yes there's sort of a little rubber, I'm not exactly what sure what the technical term is for it but it just it's like a little slider and it, you can move it up and down your earphones to adjust the length of the split so if you're interested in the specifications and the rest of the features of these earphones i will leave all those down in the description so now we move on to isolation and leak now these are not noise cancelling earphones and they're not making any claims to be now they do provide quite a lot of isolation and I was actually surprised to the level of isolation that these blocked out. The ear tips seem to create a really nice seal in your ear and block out quite a lot of noise. The only time I noticed that they did let in noise is during really heavy traffic. Now to the leak. Now they are actually again better than what I expected. I was expecting them to leak quite bad but again the seal is really good so they don't let out too much noise. I did notice however that the noise was starting to creep out when I pushed the earphones beyond 60% on my phone. Speaking of phones, are you in the market for a new phone case? What about checking out Acorn Audio's website where they've got phone cases for the iPhone 5 and iPhone 5S. Now these cases are really nice, really inexpensive and very well made. So check out the link in the description to where you can pick one of those up from. So now we get onto the main event and we talk about the sound quality of these earphones. Now these earphones are a little bit too basic for my liking. Now the drop is very very deep so all of you drum and bass lovers, hip hop lovers will really love these but for me it's just a little bit too deep. Now when it's a little bit too deep like this it starts to creep into the mid range and sort of ruin a little bit of detail there which unfortunately does happen. Again it starts to have an effect on the higher frequencies as well so you don't really get them coming through as you should however i did turn the bass down not completely off but just down enough and that essentially opened up the mid-range and made the high frequencies nicer as well vocal production is really nice really clear not very full of emotion and passion it's just really relaxed really laid back which you might like so these earphones are pretty much perfect for any like edm chill out music listeners drum and bass listeners so perfect for genres of music like that if you do adjust your EQ, and more than likely you will to get the best sound out of them, then they are a very enjoyable listening experience. Right guys, so we're going to wrap this review up quickly. So they're very nicely designed, very well made. They sound really good as long as you adjust your EQ accordingly, which like I said, more than likely you will. They're very inexpensive and they block out quite a fair amount of noise as well. So they're perfect for commuters on buses and trains and stuff like that. Right guys, so that just about wraps up this review today. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all on the next one.